Hey everyone, it's Devin from the Maniology team with our weekly live every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another nail stamping journey. Whether it's tutorial, technique, or hack, we're here to discuss the details and we are so happy you could join. Also, we know you never want to miss a Maniology Live, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you love our videos. Remember to share our content with your friends and feel free to leave a comment with suggestions for future content. Welcome back to our episode of Summer Nail Series. This is part three, our final in the series. And for the whole month of July, we're giving inspiration after inspiration for your next summer vibe. If you enjoyed today's live, make sure to check out our two previous episodes, which is Sunset and Optical Neons for your next look. Today, we are going to be focusing on seashells. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Hi, Grandma Mimsy. Today I have Tiana helping me out on the live. Everyone say hello to Tiana. And we are going to be using plate M388. Aw, thank you everyone for my birthday wishes. Yeah, my birthday was really good. I ate so many things. So many things. <laughs> Too many things. Too, I was like just going ham the past, like almost the past week, just like eating all these really good, delicious things. But I think, um, like my body has finally had enough. It's just like, please feed me a vegetable. Let's not eat so much rich, heavy, delicious things. <laughs> I need to go back to my normal eating. It's been, it's been a lot. <laughs> I know food is one of my favorite ways to celebrate, but I, after a while, I was just like, oh my God, I, my friend and I have talked about this before, but she's like, sometimes you just miss home food. And that is so true. Sometimes you really just need some home food because it was, it was so much. <laughs> um... Thank you for all the belated birthday wishes. Yes, I need like a post-birthday binge cleanse. It's been tons of great food. Um, anyways, today we're going to be talking about plate M388, the seashell plate. I feel like every time I think of summer, one of the other things I think of when it comes to summer is beaches and seashells when i was a kid i used to collect seashells i still do sometimes and yeah so yes get the shell yeah kit <laughs> we are going to be using the stamper and scraper from that kit as well as these pretty polishes that are in there i can't wait to show you them today and I think I want to start off with my clear tip. So I've been thinking about doing this look and I think this is the perfect design to do it too. You want to start with, mm, now yeah, we'll just start this way. Okay, so I'm going to select this design and I'm going to use three colors from our I want to say these are from all from our Electro Glow collection. Mm, I might just do a double stamp today because I'm working on a clear tip. Again, when you're working on your natural nail, you, you don't have to worry about something like completely see-through like this. But because I am working on a completely clear tip, I'm going to use white first and then we're going to double stamp. So I'm going to try and go for this section here because I like the little starfish. Does anyone else like to collect shells? There used to be this beach that I'd go to that had the prettiest seashells. But then I think other people figured it out 
and then they started going there too and now there's no more seashells okay so you're just gonna stamp this on like that it's funny because I collect I collected like a bunch of seashells but I never displayed them I just collected them and then sometimes later I'll just like throw them back at the ocean oh no see yeah I can see that some of these landlocked states aren't gonna have seashells Okay, so now we're gonna use these three colors. Again, these all came from the Electroglow collection. So if you're trying to figure out what the color names are, you can just look at the Electroglow collection and you'll, you'll find them. And I'm gonna open up the bottles first. Does that tip have a sticky base on it? Nope, it does not. I'm just going to randomly apply colors. Make sure to wipe your brush off. And then we are going to scrape. I'm not going to overly scrape this because I don't want it to end up too blended. Now we're just going to try and layer. Oh, whoops. Let's see if we can layer this on camera. Wish me luck. Yay, I think we did it. Okay, so when you're stamping on your nails, try to be careful for that, um, like this stuff, because it'll stick back onto your nails. It drives me crazy. Um, so I always try to like move the stamper slowly so those parts don't stick back. <laughs> Oh, George is saying hi, everyone. Oh, yuck. We have a little bit of that shoot. Well, it's okay. Hopefully the outline will take care of it. Even though you see that I have a little bit of fallout here, I think it'll be okay. So before we actually go ahead and do the rest of the design... I want to show you a trick and I realize I don't have my top coat. Give me one sec. Okay. So you're going to use your smudge free. <laughs> oh, cute. I wish George could hear your princess talk. Um, yes, I said the Electro Glow collection. So those are the colors I'm using for this design. And you're going to need, ooh, ooh, ooh. you're going to need your smudge free top. You're just going to paint a thin layer over it before we do the outline. So I'm going to do that. Then you're going to let this dry for a little bit. And after this dries, we're going to use, I think this is the one. Oh wait, or is it this one? Oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe it is this one. It's so hard because I'm looking at the polishes, these polishes, and I'm trying to remember what color they are. So also fun fact, if you're looking at 
duochrome polishes or these types of like iridescent duochrome polishes and you're trying to figure out what the color is, it's going to be the color that you see like the reflection color. So even though this looks like a green yellow polish, the color you want to look for and the true color you're going to see on your nail is whatever the shine is. So you see this red shine? That means when you apply it over a black polish or a white polish or whatever color you apply it over, you're going to see mostly this red. And then that's how you can tell the difference between like, oh, which color is which. This one's red. This one is gold. And then this one is like green and sometimes like bluish purple. So I think I'm going to go for... I want to go for this color, but I think it would be better with a different color combination. Let's try, I'm going to try this, the gold instead. So we'll paint a coat of this on. I want to say, is the nail dry enough? I think the nail is dry enough. So this is Sandbar B475. And you're just going to apply one coat over the entire design. And look at how pretty that looks. And after this dries, we are going to stamp our outline. just love the way that turned out okay while that's drying let's move on to the next design oh no I hear that someone's not feeling well bees I hope you feel better yeah I'm happy you ordered these um, polishes too because I think they sold out the first batch they seem to be really popular for the summer okay so let's go on to the next design. For this design, we are going to do an all over gradient on the nail. And I am going to use this purple, or like, I don't know, this is a blurple. It's mercury baseline, but it feels very blurply. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Um, and then we are going to use Monarch Dream, again, this is all, we're going to use these three colors. These are all from the Electro Glow collection. They're just so pretty, the Electro Glow colors, like they just go together really well. You don't even have to think about whether it matches or not. That's the nice part. Um, sometimes it's hard to match colors and you don't know what looks good together and you're trying to figure it out. The good thing about this collection is that everything matches with each other very nicely. Just randomly go ahead and sp sponge some color on. Then you're going to get something like that. I had a little spot on this um, nail tip earlier, but I figured I'd still be able to reuse it for a design. And if it doesn't work out the way that I wanted, I have an idea for that as well. Yes, this is a really pretty color combo, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and add more. Whoops, it's kind of a big dollop. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, hey, look at that. We completely covered that little weird yellow spot that I had on the tip. I think it looks pretty good. Big dollops of happy accidents, right? 
I think it looks good too. And for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint a coat, whoops, of fish scale over. Can you use the same technique for galaxy theme? Absolutely. You can definitely use the same technique to sponge on the colors or create like a smush -a cure or even like the layering of the polishes. Um, all of that could be worked or could pair well with a galaxy design. Wow, I did not expect this color combo to look like that. Very interesting. Look at that. That is pretty. <laughs> the red is so nice. Wait, did I use the red already? No, I didn't. I didn't. It blended the colors well and it just looks good. Very, very pretty, right? Okay, this one is dry. I think we can go back and stamp that. So now we're gonna take the outline and stamp it over the design. I think I'm gonna do the outline in... Hmm. Okay, so I had originally planned to do it in black, but I think the colors are too harsh and I think white is too light. Let me see if I can get a dark purple. So I found this dark blue, Kraken, or, oh, this is like a reddish color. Never mind. Dark blue it is. I thought I grabbed a purple, but I guess it wasn't. So let's try it with our dark blue. I like that this blue is a nice dupe for black. That's a cool idea. Oh, that's smart, Rachel. Maybe we'll try that today. Okay, trying to line this up on camera. Wish me luck. My brain is struggling right now to try to get this. It wasn't perfect. It's all right. Happy little accidents is what it's all about. Be careful with the fallout. Yeah. That's why I always like pull away so slowly because I know if I pull away fast, it's just gonna flip right back onto the tip. That's happened to me so many times. I can't even tell you. Ooh, I like the way the blue came out. Wow, that is so much cuter than I imagined. <laughs> it does kind of look like comic book shells. That looks good. What was the blue again? Okay, so this blue that I used was Kraken B482. I like this color a lot. Um, because it is a great black dupe. This is so pretty. I'm so happy that we get to explore and experiment together. Things that sometimes I didn't imagine turning out, or, you know, maybe I had a different plan for the way it worked, end up 
looking different and yeah and we just kind of go with it so i'm just gonna put another coat of our smudge free just so that way i can see what it looks like when it's all covered and glossy it's true going with the flow is so much better tiana and i know very well what happens when you try to just like work on a design so much and you just like work it overwork it and then it just turns out unattractive and not at all like how you imagined sometimes it's really better to just let things um yeah just just go with the flow <laughs> okay so for those of you who are curious about this section i think people have asked is it like three separate um is it like meant to be layered on top of each other no this is an either or situation or wait either or either or either or situation so this you'll see it's going to be like this and then you pick either this or this it's like a choose your own story is that <laughs> i don't know if you guys know what that is i'm laughing because i was like either or would have explained that perfectly fine and then i went in and told you another <laughs> way to explain either or <laughs> um okay so I am going to choose the starfish. Yes, this is a choose your own adventure. Exactly. <laughs> um, I'm gonna choose the starfish. I think that'd look really cute with our design here. I wanna do it in blue because I think it'll go so well with everything else that we have. And I'm just gonna Oh, well, that was a lot of polish. Well, at least I know. Oh, oh, oh. At least I know I won't have to worry about my stamp missing any polish because I put way too much for such a tiny design. Okay, there we go. Yes, again, this is all a part of the, what is it called again? <laughs> the Electrical Collection. <laughs> oh, today words are tough. It's all that food I ate. It's making my brain all hazy. <laughs> um, I had, I'll tell you guys, uh, potato potato yes what did i eat this past weekend i ate everything i ate pasta i ate really good pasta i ate some fresh pasta i love some fresh nudes <laughs> they're just the absolute best mm, what should we pair this color with should we do let's do pink and see how that turns out I think I'm gonna do this one. I had a bunch of fresh nudes. I ate yakiniku. I ate Korean food, like that's separate from yakiniku. I ate Japanese yakiniku and then I ate Korean food. Uh, and then I ate at this really cute restaurant. Okay, wait, hold on now. And they had also, I mean, I just ate all the things. I ate all the things and then my stomach was like, I've had enough. And then I got an upset tummy because I ate too many things. <laughs> Not exactly how I wanted it to go, but also not terrible. It's 
still cute. Also, I have the light. I didn't want the light to be like reflecting on the plate, but these designs look so much better in brighter lighting. Yes, eating all the things angers my tummy too. <laughs> my stomach was over it. And it's funny because I take like a pre-probiotic and I ran out. I was waiting for the new shipment to come. And I swear the one day I didn't take it, my stomach was just like, I've had enough. The rest of the days, my stomach was completely fine. I ate musubis, fried chicken, all sorts of things, candies, sweets. Like I was eating everything. Bunch of fried lumpia, like it was great. <laughs> but yeah, my stomach was like, okay, we're done. We're done. We're seriously over it. Now I'm going to use this design. <laughs> YOLO is right. And I'm going to stamp this in white. Although I do want to try that idea that someone mentioned earlier. Hmm. Well, we'll just have to reuse. We'll reuse some of these designs because honestly, I think you all know how to use this part. It's really this part that I want to show you, like some fun options that you can play with. So let's do that one trick that someone mentioned earlier. And then we'll try another trick with these. So we're going to try the black effect I, or... Mm, Maybe we could try the navy blue instead of the black. Please also do one with the little interior piece. Oh, this one. Okay, okay. We'll do that after. Yeah, I, I need vegetables. <laughs> I need vegetables in soup. <laughs> Tiana knows when we're not feeling good, we usually want some kind of clear broth soup. We want hot pot. That's usually what it is. Hot pot has like meat, vegetables, and some starch if you want to. And it's usually in a clear broth and your tummy feels better. That's like our rescue meal. It's also really good for hangovers. It's actually good for many things because you're basically just eating vegetables. <laughs> vegetables and protein. Oh no, we got a little bit of this stuck underneath. Okay, here. Gotcha. Okay, so we're doing the dark design first. Then I wanna try taking all three colors oh I know that does sound good for lunch it might be a hot pot day for lunch tea because I don't know if I'm gonna do any cooking tonight I also really miss cooking food but I've just been um so busy that I haven't had a chance to cook lately and it stinks like don't get me wrong I love eating out I'm grateful for eating out and for all the delicious things that everyone wanted to give me and take me to eat it's been amazing <laughs> but i i've been missing cooking as well okay. so i'm just gonna do like a smudge a cure kind of situation how about for lunch this definitely sounds really nice it's funny because it's like in hawaii right now it's probably in the high 80s and 90s but somehow all my friends know that we can eat soup literally any time of the day. Could be winter, could be summer, it could be raining fire, and we'll still wanna eat soup. <laughs> okay, so now you're just gonna use any tool you have. You can either use like um, a dotting tool to do this, or you could just use a toothpick. I mean, you don't even have to do this if you don't want to. You could literally just start smushing it and it'll still create the same effect. So we're gonna just smush it on. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, well, because I smushed so much 
and I got so much polish on here. Now we're going to have to wait a couple of seconds so that way the polish can dry. Um, because if not, if I try to stamp this right now as is, it's just going to slide right off the nail. Like when I mean that, I mean that when you try to stamp it, imagine if there's like oil on the stamper and you tried to stamp and it just like slid off. It's going to slide off. It's going to make a mess of my current design and it's just not going to be good. So you have to give it a couple of seconds to dry. But the cool thing is check this out. Can you see the green, pink, red, orange like effect that's happening here? I love it. Yeah, soup. Soup is great. We don't have much creamy soups here. That's the interesting thing. Like, you know, we don't have like a Panera or um, we don't have like, again, I can't just like go get corn chowder or potato chowder anytime I want. The types of soups we have here are all like a lot of Asian soups. Yes, it does look like an oil slick. That's actually another good idea. We should do oil slick nails. That could be so much fun with this. Okay, let's see if this is... Oh, mm, I think it... Mm, I think... Should we try or should we wait? <laughs> what do you all think? Give me hearts if you want me to try it. Or if you think I should wait, give me like the, the no or whatever you want to say. Try. Okay, try. Wah! Whoa! Whoa! Look at that. These shells look like they're oil slick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do an oil slick tutorial. Wow, so pretty. Okay, um, let's do the outline. I'm thinking we're gonna do an outline in white. You all really need these polishes. If you didn't know this by now, if you need a reminder, if you're looking for a sign, this is your sign, get the polishes. <laughs> these polishes are so pretty. I had to take one out of stock for myself because there's so many fun things that I can do with these polishes and I already know, I can just tell. Yes, the alien shell. That's so funny, that's exactly what it is. But it really looks like an oil slick. I'm trying to see if I can like play with the light so you all can see the color. So pretty. Wow, that's so smart. Yeah, using them on a flame manicure would be really cute. Okay, so let's go back to the demonstration. I'm gonna stamp this in white. You all have the best ideas. I think that's the fun part about the fact that I don't always plan out every single detail of the live is it leaves room for your input so then we can try things together and we can find out whether it works and it looks great or maybe it was one of those experiments we could have just passed on but there's no way to know oh the white is way too stark nope I'm vetoing it <laughs> It needs a lighter, uh, like a mid-tone color, I think. Um, okay, hold on. Yes, you're part of the Maniology family. <laughs> um, because of Hawaii's demographic, it just so happens that, like, a lot of people here are part Asian, and there, there's a reason why, but that's a long explanation that we don't need to get into. Um, and 
Yeah, so there's a lot of Asian food here. But we don't have, like, good Mexican food. Like, there's very few places for, like, Mexican food or, like, other types of cuisine. Um, there's only a few places for really good Italian cuisine. And you have to be willing to pay, like, an arm and a leg. Um, we don't have that much Southern cuisine, which is so unfortunate. Oh, that's one thing I never got, Tiana. I never got my southern food fix. But again, that will probably upset my thumbs right now. Because I just gotta chill out and eat like simple plain things. Okay, let's see if this worked out. I kind of don't like the outline with this. Huh. Well, that's something we learned together. <laughs> um, or maybe if I had done the outline in like a dark, like if I did Kraken again, I wonder if I would have been able to see the outline over the oil slick. I think what I don't like about this is that the outline is busy and I feel like I just don't get as much of the fun oil slick that I wanted. Yeah, I liked it when it was darker. Um, or maybe I could have tried with like using black or something as the outline. It would have been a much more subtle effect because it would have been dark over dark stamping. But I think I would have liked that better so that way I could see more of the oil slick or maybe just not see these lines so much. I'm really happy I didn't go with white though because that would have just drove me crazy. But also now you know <laughs> for, for trying this effect. See, we learn together. Because I made the mistake for you, now you know what not to do. Still cute though. Just maybe not the way that I would have wanted. Okay, so someone asked about this shell over here, this one with the little center part. So we're going to work on that next. Um, for the base, I'm thinking... Hmm. What am I thinking for the base? I want something... Blue? <laughs> Are you going to stamp with the featured collection? I wasn't planning on it, but we could. We could try it. Okay. Let's try it. This is going to be a really weird color combination, FYI. But... I think it's because I have to think about these three parts. So just just go go with it <laughs> with me. Oh wait, that's not gonna work out the way that I was thinking. Hmm. Okay. How many plates do we have with layering images? I I'm not sure. I'm gonna be very honest about that. We have a lot. We have a lot of plates. Also, it's like, are we counting Manny by me? Are we counting just like like a history of all layered plates? I don't know. I don't think I've ever been asked that question. That's a very good question. We have several and we're, we constantly add to the collection as well. Okay, I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna stamp these set of three on the sticky stamper station so you can see what it looks like. And then I will do stamping with these sheer colors. Um, so, Okay, first, let me paint this black. Or, no, I want to paint it blue. I like the blue. Also, you all know I'm sucker for blues. The fact that you all haven't gotten a blue every single month 
for the entire time that the Manny by Me has existed is a miracle. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let that dry. And then I'm gonna show you how to layer these on the sticky stomper station so that way it is a little bit easier. Step one. It really is all about the deep blues. How can you have summer without a blue? Oh wait, brain fart. Hold on, let me turn this right side. So that way I know where this is supposed to go. Okay. Okay. And then the outline. It's so funny because I had another um, design planned for you all, but then you guys just changed my mind and had me do all these different designs. And I like what you all proposed better than what I came up with. I don't know why I'm cleaning this up. It doesn't matter. It's not even going on a nail tip. I think it's just a habit. This is what it looks like. I think you'll be able to do it better than I will, especially considering the fact that I have the camera in front of my face. But for those of you who are curious to see how it looked like with all three layered, this is the result. Okay, let's see if this dried yet. I'm guessing no, because the reflection still looks very perfect. So we might need to give that a few moments, but I have to clean off the, uh, maybe, well, hmm. Do I have to clean off the plate? What do you guys want to see me stamp? Um, so I'm either thinking about stamping this with the Sunrise Collection, or I'm thinking about stamping the outline with the Sunrise Collection. Maybe this makes more sense, huh? I think maybe we'll do this one <clears throat> because then you can get more color and you'll be able to see more of what it looks like. Can we see a close up? A close up of which one? Oh, of the plate. Is this what you mean? You want to see the outline in the Sunrise collection instead of the solid edge? Do the outline, okay. We can do the outline. Let's see, is this dry enough? Yes, it is. I am going to do rainbow stamping again. Uh, with these. Okay, let me open all the polishes.
It's so interesting how you look at the polishes and the color that you think is going to be one thing is actually another. I love that about this collection. I think we're going to need to bring in more colors like this. It's so fun. Hmm. I don't know if you all will be able to see this on. Let me see if I like play with the lighting. Let me try and top coat it to see if it makes it easier to see. I can clearly see it in front of me, but I wonder if you guys can see it. Let me try and zoom in. No, I feel like you guys can't see it and I'm so bummed. Whoops. It is stunning in person. It's actually very pretty in person. I wish you could see it better. In person, I can see the green, the red, the orange, the pink. But on my camera, when I'm looking at the video, I don't really see all of that. So these are the four designs we worked on today. Yes, that is why you need to buy it. If you bought it, you would be able to see it up close. <laughs> yeah, maybe as a mat. Let's, should we try it as a mat? Here, give me a sec. a matte top coat. So let's try and matte top it. Let's see if that makes a difference. over here trying to blow on it to speed up the dry time. Oh, wait. I think it's, I think it's happening. You can see it more over here. Yeah, that's working. I hope I evenly top coated it. I can see it a lot better as a mat. Good idea, ladies. Wow. Yeah, I can definitely see it better with a mat. But I think in general, this was really fun. I like the way that they all turned out. It was something different. I'm so happy you had a chance to grab these two, Jackie. Did anyone have any questions on any of the things that we did? Because that's pretty much it for today's live. We just wanted to show you some fun seashell nail designs that you could create. And also how to play with this plate. No, not too many questions today. 
Well, I think that wraps up the live then. Thank you everyone for joining today. I had so much fun with all of you and I hope you have an amazing week. Thank you, Tiana, for helping out on the live. Oh, questions about Box of Shadows. Hmm. Ah. Let's see. I'm trying to think if I can give you a hint. It's going to be quite entertaining. <laughs> that's all I will say. And that's a hint in itself. But it's a very, very vague hint that could literally mean anything. <laughs> yep, the hint is it's going to be entertaining. Can you expect a great box? I think so. I think there's going to be a lot to look forward to, especially considering some of the things that we've heard from our clients in the past. I will say this. I think the theme, I'm not going to go deep into this. I think the theme is something that a lot of people wouldn't like initially, like depending how it was. But I think the style and the route that we chose is something that a lot of people would like. So I don't know if that's a, a hint or yeah. <laughs> I know. What does that mean? What does all of this mean? <laughs> Could mean anything. I mean, some people love seashells and some people don't. It could literally mean anything. So have fun with all of that, everybody. <laughs> okay. I will talk to all of you a little later. Now, the blue faces, the blue faces wasn't a hint. <laughs> that wasn't a hint. <laughs> okay, everybody. Thank you so much for joining our live and we will talk to you soon. I hope you have an amazing week. Bye everyone.